गुड आफ्टरनून लेडीज एंड जेंटल मेल वेलकम टू माय प्रेजेंटेशन आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माय पेपर द टाइटल ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन इज एडॉप्टिंग सोशल सेफ्टी नेट प्रोग्राम्स टू क्लाइमेट चेंज शॉक्स इश्यूज एंड ऑप्शन फॉर बांग्लादेश हाई इज द क्लाइमेट चेंज इश्यू इम्पोर्टेंट टू बांग्लादेश देर आर ए लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज फॉर एग्जाम्पल जियोग्राफिकल पजिशन मनसून क्लैमेट लो इलिवेशन एंड हेयर इन्सिडेंस अफ पवार्टी एंड दिस स्टाडी कन्सार्न टू फ्लाड सैक्लोन वाटर लगिंग सेलिनीटी एंड ड्रट अबजेक्टिव टू क्वान्टिफाई दि नम्बर अफ रूराल पोर हाउज लाइवलीहुड्स इज थ्रेट एंड बै क्लैमेट चेन्ज एंड डिस्क्राइब दि टाइप अफ क्लैमेट risk facing them to identify successful examples of coordination of disaster management social safety nets and climate change adaptation here the brief methodology literature collection and synthesis from national and global perspective collection collection of secondary data collection of primary data through fgd case studies quantitative analysis of household income and expenditure surveys stakeholder consultations construction of household risk index and gis mapping collection of primary data the sample area are shown in this map model for climate change risk or household vulnerability we used integrated vulnerability index and the formula is there there are two formulas the vulnerability consists of adaptive capacity sensitivity and exposures here the model parameters for example household assets incidence of poverty basic services infrastructure and institutions these are the parameters for measuring adaptive capacity of the household for sensitivity extreme climate or climatic shocks for example frequency of cyclones and floods and current sensitivity we used highest 2010 data for current sensitivity due to climate shocks and exposure we have projected the rainfall and summer rainfall and uh, annual temperature towards 2050 and these are the meteorological observatories in bangladesh these are these are the uh, district wise and oi averaged over the division wise there are seven administrative division in bangladesh these are the areas of flooding from uh, 1954 to 2010 regular flood affects 20% of the country increasing up to 68% in extreme years these are the flood frequency at district and div division level since 1966 the select division is more vulnerable to flood and the khulna and borishal division is less vulnerable to flood the damage due to historical floods in bangladesh for example 1974 1984 87 88 90 8 and 2004 the damage due to flood is gradually increased and the lower figure for damage the agriculture infrastructure and housing are seriously damaged due to flood for example here 2004 flood population affected and diarrheal incidents due to historical floods for example 1988 
1998 and 2004, more than 30 million people are affected due to flood in Bangladesh. And in 1988, more than 5 million people are affected due to diarrhea. And on an average, near to 2 million people are, people are affected due to diarrhea. This is cyclone. Cyclone frequency at district and division level since 1966. The Borishal, Sitagang, and Khulna division are at risk, high risk, uh, due to cyclone because of presence of Bay of Bengal. And Russia and Rangpur division uh, almost nil for cyclone. Cyclone hit from 1961. On an average, only 1.2 year is enough for a cyclone hit. This is so frequent in Bangladesh. And temporal distribution of sea cyclone hit in Bangladesh since 1960. And we categorized all cyclones and we found that most of the cyclone hit uh, either before the monsoon or after the monsoon. And uh, we calculated that 36% of the cyclone struck during pre-monsoon season and 64% at the post-monsoon season. So if we harvest, if we can harvest burro rice before the uh, May, the rice uh, is safe from cyclonic heat, but after pushed monsoon, cyclonic heat is difficult to manage for rice cultivation. Human casualty due to cyclone. There are some great devastations, for example, 1970, Bola cyclone, about 5 lakhs people were died. And uh, 1991, Gurki cyclone, about 1.5 lakhs people were died. And these are some devastation scenarios occurred in Bangladesh due to poor historic cyclones. The another issue is immersed in Bangladesh, that is water logging in southeast Bangladesh. Due to riverbed siltation, some land are gradually waterlogged, losing agricultural production. and these worst case scenarios due to prolonged water logging in southeast Bangladesh. The salinity, the another issue. In dry season, saline water intrusion is occurred as much as about 100 km inside Bangladesh from the Bay of Bengal along the tributary channels and rivers and one third land area of Bangladesh is under tidal excursion. And uh, we have found that from uh, 1973, salinity affected area is gradually increased. And the another issue is drought, especially north and western part of the country is affected under drought. Uh, the left figure is in winter season and the right is the summer season scenario. This is the household income and expenditure service result. For example, in Rangpur division, about 11% uh, Household are affected due to flood. 
and in Khulna division about uh, 7% household are affected due to drought or irregular rains. So we have found the total number of affected people due to different types of climatic shocks and we have found that about 10 million people are affected due to different types of climatic shocks in Bangladesh in normal year and in extreme year this figure would be rise about 3 to 5 times as many. This is the temperature and uh, rainfall in Bangladesh from 1948, division level data. And this is temperature projection toward 2050. This is rainfall projection toward 2050, division wise data. And this is sea level rising. So now, uh, we found the model output for measuring vulnerability, the adaptive capacity, sensitivity, exposure, and vulnerability. We found that the household of Rongford division is more vulnerable, and the household from Russia division is less vulnerable. Basically, in this calculation, uh, flood and cyclone cyclone frequency are used. And this is the mapping, just use the pre previous data. So a study, a strategy or policy to reduce vulnerability, we should re increase the adaptive capacity and reduce the sensitivity and exposure. Improvement of adaptive capacity in household level, community level, and estate level. So, in all level, have some responsibility to increase the adaptive capacity. For example, household level income, house quality, remittance, microfinance activity should be enhanced. In community, community level, awareness to disaster and Preparedness training should be increased in estate level, road, breeze, culvert, public transportation should be increased. Reduction of sensitivity to climate shocks. For example, uh, for flood, construction of strong embankment with adequate sluice glades. For cyclone, almost same policy. For water logging, elevating the waterlogged areas, roads, home streets. For salinity, inhibit the intrusion of saline water from sea. Reduction of exposure to climate change. Here, for agricultural productions, uh, we need some befitted crop cultivars to reduce the exposure to climate change shocks. For example, short duration varieties, deep water varieties, etc. So social protection in Bangladesh, this is poverty level. Despite impressive gains in poverty reduction in last decade, this still poor account at about 35% in rural Bangladesh. Social production financing in Bangladesh. About uh, 10 to 12 percent national budgets are used for social production in Bangladesh. And there are more than 30 uh, safety net programs, but four are big one. For example, BZD, RMP, FFW, and CLP. And this is the budgeting for these programs. CLP uh, funded by DFIT and OSIT and partially by government of Bangladesh. 
it is identified that most social safety net programs operating by GUB have some limitations. This should be scaled up. So what is the model? We, sh we need a befitted model. And uh, we find this model to uh, climate resilience of Bangladesh. Thank you.